Greetings marketing students, Dr. Rodriguez here, and I'm going to go over the theory of planned behavior analytical exercise for module four. So this is the quantitative assignment for this module. Now you'll see that this uh, particular Excel spreadsheet should look identical to the, the example spreadsheet, which I went over with you in the previous set of videos. And uh, this particular exercise has a different example tied to it. Uh, the first page, once again, reviews the theory of planned behavior. And then the second page tells you a little bit about what this uh, data is based on. So this is a study of moms and their intentions to purchase this new product, which uh, currently this is something that is being launched. So it's a new product in the market. And so Kraft is introducing Kraft Salad Frosting, which is its Kraft Classic Ranch Dressing disguised in a frosting tube. It's not a sugary frosting designed for dressing salads. The social media campaign proposes that parents up their lie game to trick their kids into eating healthy vegetables with the salad frosting. So this is a survey of the factors that influence mother's intentions to purchase Kraft Salad Frosting for their children within the next three days. The goal of this study is to identify the main factors influencing intentions to purchase Kraft Salad Frosting for their kids so that the company can influence those factors that are currently weak in order to increase consumers' purchase intentions. The sample of survey respondents came from the population of mothers with children between the ages of four to nine years old. So that is the target market. A small sample was selected initially to elicit their salient beliefs for their attitudes, subjective norms, and perceived control regarding purchasing craft salad frosting for their kids. And remember, the time frame is within the next three days. The sample is subdivided into mothers who are overweight and those who have a healthy weight. So we have two segments within this data. Here are the questions attitude toward the specific action. My purchasing craft salad frosting for my kids would be unfavorable, favorable, unpleasant, pleasant. So there's two uh, items there with a scale from one to seven. Subjective norm. Most people who are important to me would purchase craft salad frosting for their kids. Uh, agree, disagree. Most people like me purchase craft salad frosting for their kids. Unlikely, likely. Perceived behavioral control. I am confident that I can purchase craft salad frosting for my kids. And my purchasing craft salad frosting for my kids is up to me. Lastly, behavioral intentions. I intend to purchase craft salad frosting for my kids. Unlikely, likely, a scale from one to seven. Now, if uh, at any point you need help with the add-in in order to conduct the regression analysis, remember this tab is here at the end uh, with the instructions on how to do that so that you can conduct the multiple regression analysis. Now on to the data. So we have here the unstandardized data, which is the raw data from the survey. And then here's the standardized version, which again represents the Z scores, uh, which is these scores converted, uh, standardized by subtracting the mean or the average for the data and dividing it by the standard deviation of this set of data for each variable. And then up here, we have the averages for each of the theory of planned behavior or TPB variables. And these are divided by the two target segments that we have a, a sample from, the healthy mothers and the overweight mothers. And this tells you the range of the uh, scale. Um, so this is the lowest score you can have is a two, the highest is a 14. And that's the same for all three. And then intentions is on a scale from one to seven. So that gives you a comparison point. Then we have the analytical exercise instructions. So what you'll be doing is conducting regression analysis for each of the two subgroups, interpret the regress regression results for each of the two subgroups by identifying the most influential variables and the average rating for the variables. Again, if this sounds unfamiliar to you, then please go back and watch the video for the example that we did and uh, also take a look at the example spreadsheet because it contains a lot of information also. Number three, 
explain how the theory of planned behavior variable or variables, so the influential variable, must change in order to increase consumer intentions and propose and defend a specific marketing mix tactic to produce the desired change in the theory of planned behavior influence variables. Okay, so as far as uh, conducting the regression analysis, recall that we use the data tab and then data analysis. And then that pulls up the data analysis window. We would select regression. For the input Y range, the Y variable, that's our dependent variable, which is intention. So we would select for the first group. So we're going to do this one group at a time. First, the healthy weight mothers will run the regression analysis and then the overweight mom analysis. Then the X range, this is all of our independent variables. So that's all of these. So I'm going to click on that, highlight it, and remember to include the headers or the labels for each column. And so we have L9 through L19 with our dependent variable and I9 through K19 with our independent variables. Make sure that labels is checked off, confidence level checked off, and it should be 95%. And then the output range, this is where we want the output to appear. Uh, there are specific instructions here. Select this shaded region of the worksheet for the regression output. So I will click on that and then highlight this shaded area. And then click OK. Press OK. It says that it's going to overwrite existing data. That just means it's going to overwrite what's already there. And then make sure that you change this to numeric uh, output to make it easier to interpret. And then follow the steps from the example video. Now to make numbers two through four a little bit uh, simpler and uh, easier to follow, I've provided a uh, template here. So this is for number one, interpreting the regression results for each group. So here's the results for group one. Here's where you interpret the results for group two. Of course, uh, I've only run the regression for one group. For the first group, you have to do the same thing for the second group of the overweight mothers. And here you just fill in the information. So for the, interpreting the regression results for group one, for healthy weight mothers, blank. And so here I fill in which of the three attitude uh, variables has the strongest relative influence on intentions. This variable has an average rating of blank. So I would go up to the averages thing, make sure that you're in the right group. So I'm in the healthy mothers group and I would look, uh, you know, depending on whichever one of these is the most influential, I would look at the average rating. And so I'm going to fill that in. It has an average rating of blank on a scale from two to 14, which is, is it high? Is it low? Is it moderate? Uh, that's uh, for you to fill in. And then here you uh, again restate the, the theory of planned behavior variable. The blank ratings need to increase in order for intentions to increase from the current score of blank out of seven. So again, you look up at the averages and see for this group, what is the intentions score? And then the managerial implications. So that corresponds to uh, questions three and four. So here's the first part for healthy weight mothers, the marketing strategy should aim to increase and then whatever the theory of planned behavior variable that's influential would go here. And then specifically to increase and then just sort of restate what you state here, craft should and then give a general description of what the strategy should achieve. And then here you would be specific. This tactic will and then specify again what the change is by blank. So here's where you defend your uh, proposed strategy. So here's where you provide the specific marketing tactic. And here's where you justify the effectiveness of that tactic in bringing about the desired uh, change in the theory of planned behavior variable. And you do the same exact thing for group two. And that is the assignment. So you fill all of that out and you will upload 
this spreadsheet in the Dropbox for the Module 4 Analytical Exercise.